But I'd love to start with these. Ten I've, years of work right there. Someone on your team called these the real-life Tony Stark glasses. Very hard to make each one of these. That makes me feel incredibly optimistic. In a world where AI gets smarter and smarter, this is probably going to be the next major platform after phones. And I just tested some of their new tech that feels like science fiction. <gasps> This is crazy. Mark Zuckerberg and the team at Meta are imagining a future that billions of other people might actually end up living in. Well, these are the first full holographic augmented reality glasses, I think, that exist in the world. Um, we've made, I think it's a, f a few thousand or something, right? Um, very hard to make each one of these. But this is the culmination of 10 years of research and, and development that we've done to basically miniaturize all the computing that you need to have glasses, not a headset, but glasses that can put full holograms into the world with a wide field of view. So you can imagine sort of in the future, we'd be having a version of this conversation where you know, maybe I or, or you are not even here. It's like one of us is physically here and the other one is here as, a, as kind of a full body hologram. And it's not just a video call. You can actually interact. You can do things. I mean, in the, the demo, we had the, you know, ping pong and games and things like that. But I mean, you could, you can interact, you can work together, you can, you know, play poker, play chess, whatever, like the holographic cards, holographic board game. Why build these? Well, I think it's going to be the next major computing platform. So... If you look at like the grand arc of computing over time, you've you've gone from like mainframes to um, computers that basically like live on you know, your desk or on a tower to phones that you have in your hand that you basically like you know can take with you everywhere that you want. But it's it's pretty unnatural, right? It takes you away from the world around you, and um, I think that the trend in computing is it gets more ubiquitous, it gets more natural. Um, and it just gets more social, right? They illuminate your eyes. And then, of course, there's all the basic stuff that you need, all the computing, the batteries to power the whole thing, microphones, the speakers, because it, it needs to be able to play audio and speak with you, um, and the cameras and sensors to see things around you in the world. So that way, when it's placing holograms in the world, it can do that in the right place and understand where you are. So that 